Hi everyone, I know that many of you have been waiting for it for a long time, so today I'm going to show you how to extract pure gold from all the electronic devices. In addition, I will show you how to extract other precious metals such as silver, platinum and palladium. Not only will I show you how to extract the gold that is directly visible, but I will also show you how to extract the one that is hidden, so that we can end up with more gold. <laughs> Sorry, I was being emotional. Something that you may wonder if whether this is worth it or not. And you might even have been told that it is not. That is not true. It depends on how you do it. There are three conditions for it to be worth it. The first one is don't buy electronic scraps. In particular, don't buy scraps that is ready to be chemically processed. The people who sell these already did most of the job and they obviously want to make you pay the price. Instead, you can collect free electronic waste from almost everywhere. I got mine from friends and I found many on the sidewalk by driving in the neighborhood. Also, I work in a university that gets rid of obsolete electronics on a regular basis. In all cases, you have to adapt to the opportunities that show up to you. The second condition is that you need to work efficiently and fast when you disassemble electronic devices. The first time you are going to do it, you are probably going to spend a lot of time on a single device. But as you practice, this is a skill that you are going to develop on your own and eventually you will work faster. The third condition is that the chemicals that you use in order to process the collected gold should be cheap. In particular, you will need nitric acid which is relatively expensive. So my advice is don't buy it make it yourself it is very easy and cheap you may want to watch my tutorial in which i show how to make nitric acid at home from household items all right enough talking gold and other precious metals are present in almost all electronic devices so i'm going to focus here on a small desktop computer we have here the motherboard here a board from a hard drive with the head and the motor, here a board from a DVD drive, and some cables. Gold can be found in two different types of places. The obvious places are the ones where you see a yellow metal. If it is yellow, then there is a high probability for it to be gold. For example, we can clearly see it on the memory card. also in the slot connector. All these are plated with gold. Okay. We have them also in the Ethernet and USB connectors, HDMI connectors and others. Of course, there is a lot here with the processor. All those pins, well these are not pins, these are pads, all this is gold plated obviously and same for the the connector okay so all this is gold here on the hard drive board we can see that gold is everywhere in the connector and the the board is also plated here because there, there was some screws here and it needs to have very good connection with the metal case of the hard drive. Okay. Here. So these are obvious places where there is gold. Now, for the head, this connector also has gold. And maybe there are some precious metals on the tip of the head, I don't know. So simply cut it and add it to your batch. The motor also has a golden plated connector. Same with the DVD drive connector. It's gold plated. Here there's another connector, gold plated. Okay. And these cables 
here we have USB connectors they are gold plated okay and this which plugs directly onto the motherboard they are also gold plated the hidden places where you can find gold are inside the ICs in the microprocessor too and here we have some transistors they contain gold so we are going to treat them separately silver is likely to be found everywhere too not only in the ICs but also in on and off buttons monolithic ceramic capacitors and in the solder platinum can also be found in contacts and inside ICs palladium is also found in ICs but you will find most of it in monolithic ceramic capacitors so monolithic ceramic capacitors you have one here you have one here these are the big ones but there are plenty of small ones okay so these are those let's see if i can uh, zoom in we have plenty of those capacitors here they contain palladium okay now be careful if you look carefully on the board you may see a C this means that these are capacitors but there are some similar components that are labeled with a L and these are inductors they don't contain any palladium but if you are not sure just add them to your batch they won't do any harm let us start easy and create a batch with all the gold that can be directly spotted and the easiest one is the memory card okay obviously all this is gold both sides so just take some snips and cut it don't throw the rest away we want to keep those ICs they contain all the metals that we want all right so let's create our batch For the processor we have this gold that can be directly seen but we also have some inside the IC itself so what we are going to do is that we will process this in our batch with the gold directly accessible but then we will have to retrieve the circuit the the ic in order to process it further for the gold that is inside okay so we are going simply to add it to our current batch but before that pay attention here we have some capacitors that contain palladium so we want to take them off first and simply use a screwdriver There, we, there it is here are our capacitors I see people using heat guns in order to remove them but that's a bad idea you're going to waste some electricity doing this it will take some time and since these are very light they will usually get blown away so you will lose them simply use a screwdriver you see how fast it was for me to take them off okay so create a batch with these capacitors and simply add the processor in the batch with directly accessible gold now we want to break this connector these ones and look here those pins can we see it on the camera they are yellow uh, it's hard to see but I can tell you that they are yellow so that means they are gold plated so simply cut those pins and add them to the batch and we have to break also all these connectors it's hard for me to do it on the camera so I'm going to break them and then I'll show you the result so here I remove all the pins that were in the connectors here here and here I didn't remove the pins for these connectors here because these ones were not gold plated so let's see how much I got so this is my batch let's put it here so that we can see better All right. 
so you see all these pins they are obviously golden plated now it looks like there's a lot but don't get too excited it's very little gold because it's a very thin layer of gold but still that shows that the gold is everywhere so <clears throat> well this is what i got only from the connectors and here uh yes that was from the memory cord and of course here from the microprocessor all right now the next step you want to do is to collect all the the integrated circuit and i already mentioned that many people like to use a heat gun that's fine for some of the ic's but not all of them so you want to use a heat gun probably for these ones maybe this one you can have it by prying with a screwdriver but if you can avoid using the the, the heat gun then don't use it for example here for the ic's on this memory card just take some pliers and you can easily remove them okay it's way faster and you won't waste any electrical energy in doing this okay so this is the way to do it fast okay there are a few reticence one but still you will be faster than and using a heat gun all right there we are <coughs> and uh, you can dispose this board all right so do the same thing uh, let me try to show on here this one might be doable yeah it moves if, if I shake a few, little bit I'll have it there we are okay this one I won't be able to get it uh, let's try this one no I'm gonna break it so for these ones for these ones yes i'm going to use the heat gun okay there are many other small ones so uh, remove them all and of course here you also want to get all the capacitors they are everywhere but the big ones are here so just just do like this with a screwdriver if you do it with the heat gun they will just blow away you are going to lose many of them okay so all right okay so here are the capacitors all right so once again i'll do this off camera and then show all the components that i that i am able to collect now you see this hard drive board it's gold plated everywhere not only here but all these pads they are gold plated so just cut it in small pieces and add it to your batch okay make small pieces so that they don't take the whole space in your drawer and just yeah just add it completely to your batch so here is finally all what I obtained from that single small desktop computer that I showed at the beginning. So this is all the gold that is directly visible. There is in addition some gold inside this IC, which is the CPU. Here we have all the ICs that I was able to, uh, to disorder from the main board and the hard drive board and the dvd player board and the capacitors now uh, these 
capacitors they contain palladium and they contain a, quite a lot I mean relatively a lot that is tw uh, 2% of the mass of these capacitor is palladium that means if you have one kilogram of these capacitors then you have 20 grams of palladium and palladium costs a lot of money okay now of course you may say it may take a while before you end up with one kilogram of these capacitors but uh, no you don't need that much because this is this is quite heavy actually so you can quickly reach one kilogram of course you will need several computers to do that okay but you can get them for free so um, don't uh, don't dismiss these capacitors keep them okay in the next video we are going to see how to directly recover pure gold from these because this is not pure gold it's gold plated and uh, it is an alloy of gold okay but we can retrieve pure gold that is 24 carats gold so i'm going to show you how to do this in the next video and then in further videos we will see how to extract the gold from inside those ic's and the palladium from these capacitors also uh, we will see how to retrieve the the silver that is present in everywhere in these okay so don't forget to give a like to this video write a comment and please share the video see you in the next one